my name is Jane Neiswander and I'm instructor here at BDHQ and I'm going to be showing you some of my favorite lower body exercises to get a good booty blast. So the first exercise I'm going to be showing you today is going to be a single leg um, weighted Bulgarian squat. So this all depends on what you're training for and depending on what you want to lift. So I'm going to be lifting with a 10 pound weight, which is a medium weight, and I'm going to be doing three exercises, different types of Bulgarian single leg squats, and then we're going to switch. So first what I'm going to do is you want to make sure that you want to have your leg further out so that when you are doing your single leg lunge that your knee cuts right through the half of your foot. So you're not coming over like this or back and you have a straight back with your chest up. So we're going to be adding this weight and we're going to be doing 20 repetitions with the full range of motion. So coming all the way down, slow and controlled for 20. Okay, after we've done our 20 repetitions, now we are going to do deep pulses in this position. All right, then we're gonna move almost to the top and we are going to do now some higher up pulses. Whew, okay, <laughs> now we're gonna switch legs. So have same positioning, all based on the length of your leg. Have that leg about two to three feet away from the bench. Leg up. Because my feet are so short, I have to keep my, my feet bended. Lots of people find it more comfortable to go on your toes. So whatever is most comfortable for you. So now we're gonna do this all over again. So again, making sure that knee is placed, cutting right through the middle of your foot. Your weight is evenly distributed throughout your foot, and then you're gonna have a straight back and chest up for 20. Okay, now we're gonna go into our deep pulses. And now right back up to the top to finish it off. One, two. Okay, first set done. So with that, two legs is one set. Depending on what you're training for, you're gonna wanna do about three to four sets. 
Okay, everybody, now I'm going to be showing you a second exercise that's one of my favorites. It's called the, or what I call it, is the squat deadlift combo. So it's two exercises that we all, all of us mostly do within our gym routine, except you're just adding it together and with the use of a kettlebell. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be doing, without the weight first, we're gonna be going into our squat form. So we wanna get into our squat, making sure our weight's evenly distributed throughout our foot. My back is straight, my chest is up, and those knees, like I described in the first video, wanna be cutting right in half of your foot. So, grabbing that weight, we're gonna come up in our squat form, squeezing our glutes at the top. On the up phase, we are then gonna be hinging our hips backwards, lowering down slowly with a straight back right into that deadlift. Notice, depending on your hamstring flexibility, how my knees are mostly straight, not locked. So it all depends on your flexibility within your hamstrings and what's most comfortable to you. So coming back up, squeezing your glutes, lowering back down into that squat, coming back up, right into that hamstring. While you're doing this, you should be noticing and feeling the different muscles activating throughout the movement. So while I'm in my deadlift, I'm feeling it in my hamstrings and glutes. And when I go right into that squat, the weight is distributed between my glutes and quads. Okay, so keep in mind with this one, all depending on what you're training for, whether that be muscle endurance or muscle hypertrophy, your weight is based on what you're training for for that, along with your number of repetitions. So I'm just recently getting over an injury, so I have picked a lighter weight and I picked higher repetitions for that muscle endurance. So a squat and a hamstring um, combo is one, so I did about 12. So there you go, I hope you enjoy it. So the next ex exercise I'm going to show you is going to be a banded superset. So now the band, depending on the intensity that you want, they have all different resistance. So I've picked the tightest resistance and I'm gonna be placing this around my calves. Now, depending on the level, putting placing it around your quads is a lot easier. It's a bigger muscle group compared to your shins. So it all depends on the level intensity that you want. So I'll be placing this around my shins. Like so, really making sure that it's far away from our kneecaps, okay? So now what I'm gonna be doing is a stationary monster walk. So with this, I'm going to be hinging my hips right back, kind of almost with that deadlift, really sitting back into my glutes like it's a chair. Now, with my band, notice at the front that I have to pull that band apart. And throughout this exercise, you wanna make sure that your knees never come in because it's placing lots of load within fragile places of your knees. So you wanna keep that band out and your knees right over top of your feet, okay? So now, we're gonna be doing 30 stationary monster walks. So in total, 15 on each leg. So again, keeping that back straight, chest up, and you are just gonna be going right, back, and forth. So a key thing here is as you start to fatigue, 
your knees automatically want to come inwards. So you want to make sure, use all those mus little muscles within your glutes to make sure you keep your legs forward and straight, right over top of your feet. And you can just do a little hand dance. <laughs> Okay, 30. So now we're gonna go right into my next exercise. Superset, no rest in between exercises. So after my 30 reps of the monster walk, you're gonna grab a stable platform and we are going to do 15 lateral raises. Okay. Right, out, slow and controlled. making sure that your back isn't arching and that you are in control of the band and the band is in control of you. So it's not snapping you back. Then we're going to get to that next side. isolated exercises that I like to make a part of my daily routine at the gym. So I hope you guys enjoy that and you can find me here at BDHQ and I hope to see you soon.